Okay, so today you're going to start reading Medea. Now, there's some introductory information. I wasn't 100% satisfied with all the different versions that I could find. So, what I'm going to do is interject some videos in your text for today so that you will um, have a little better understanding of what's going on. Okay? Now, I am reading from a, it's a copy of a script. Okay? So, if, I'm not just making this up as I go along. All right, so as the play opens, the nurse of Medea's children enters and laments the chain of events that have led to the present situation. These background events can be briefly summarized. Now, this is important, okay, because you need to know what's happened before the play opens. All of the people who went to see the play, they would have already known all this because, the, you know, the legend of Jason. You know, we saw the movie, so we knew a lot about him. Now, um, you get a little background that the audience would have already had, okay? Peleus, the wicked king of Iolcus, has usurped the throne from his brother in an attempt to prevent his nephew Jason from assuming his rightful place as king of Iolcus, commands Jason to go to Colchis, the kingdom of King Aetes, to obtain the Golden Fleece, which is greatly valued and closely guarded. That all happened in the movie, okay? Jason constructed a ship, the Argo, and sailed to Colchis, King Eight's daughter, Medea, who is also a sorceress, falls in love with Jason and helps him get the Golden Fleece by murdering his brother and duping her father. Duping means um, fooling, all right? So remember how Medea fell in love with Jason. It wasn't she saw him and thought it was wonderful. Um, the goddess Hera commanded Cupid to shoot Medea with the arrow. Now, the important thing to remember here, and this is going to be important a little bit later on, is that... Um, Cupid only shot Medea. Cupid didn't shoot Jason. Okay. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And now the movie had things a little differently. Um, according to legend, Medea um, tricks her brother and she takes him on the boat with them when Jason and the Argonauts, they're all on the Argo and they're trying to escape. Um, and they've got the Golden Fleece. Well, in order to slow down her father's pursuit, that means in order to keep her father from catching up with them, um, Medea kills her brother and chops him up into pieces and throws the pieces overboard. Ugh, disgusting. Um, Medea knew that her father would stop and collect all the pieces because Greek tradition was that you had to be buried whole. Um, all of your body had to be buried together so that you could then go to the underworld as a whole person. So, she's, she's a little crazy. Okay. They, this is Jason, Medea, and everybody else on the Argo. They flee to Iolcus, where Jason claims the throne from Peleus. So, Jason wins back his throne. Peleus resists, and Medea, through deception, causes Peleus' own daughters to murder him. Because of this terrible deed, Medea and Jason flee to Corinth, where they live for some years. Now, let's bet, hold on just a second, because again, ooh, gross. All right. um, Medea tricked Peleus' daughters into killing him. Now, if you recall in the movie, we didn't see any of Peleus' daughters, okay? So this was just one difference between the movie and then the legend. Um, the daughters, his daughters wanted him to live forever. They loved their father. So what uh, Medea performed like a little magic ritual where she took a goat, she slid its belly, she drained its blood, and um, then she chopped the goat up into pieces, and she boiled the pieces in the goat blood, or something like that, and out jumps this young goat, okay? So the girls thought, and this, obviously they're not real bright, they thought if they did that, their father would be young forever. So they killed their father, chopped him up, tried to boil him in his own blood, or something to that effect, and it, it uh, didn't work out for them. So they blame Medea. Medea and Jason have to leave Iolcus. Now remember, Jason had just reclaimed the throne. He was the king. So now they have to leave and go um, start over. And they start over in Corinth. And this is where our play starts. Okay. Now, in order to regain some power, Jason leaves Medea. He abandons Medea. And plans to marry King Creon's daughter. Medea is outraged and seeks revenge. So this is where our story opens. Now, um, 
I think it's safe to say that Medea is a little crazy, okay, and probably not the person that Jason would want to make angry. So you're going to see how the story plays out. 